Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to more of Hogwarts Legacy with Scoso. So unfortunately, um, I had had a recording and uh, we lost power at my house last night and it corrupted some of the stuff in the save. So uh, where we are at, let me catch you guys back up really quick. I have just learned Bombarda. We went out and we captured the, the little critter that we needed as well as a whooper. And then we uh, did a couple of additional missions or uh, like Merlin's trials and stuff in this area down here. Kind of clean this area up a little bit. Uh, and uh, then we came and we got Bombarda. So we have Bombarda now. Unfortunately, that is all lost to history because... Hey, some things you can control and some things you can't. And when the power decides it's going to flicker and corrupt all your files and stuff, it that's something you can't. So today we are going to be continuing on with probably speaking with Sebastian and the Undercroft. Oh, we can we can groom and feed the Thestral offspring. You can do that really quick. Could do that really quick. All right. And obviously we need to get more of these moons. I think we need, I think we have eight maybe. Yeah, we have eight. All right. So we need another five. Okay. Well, all right then. We do have a point to spend too. I just, oh, we were going to spend it on Bombarda. Because you can make Bombarda more bombardi e. So, uh, causes an explosive blast with a massive area effect. Sounds like fun. Alright, let's go up to the room of requirement. Excellent. Okay. Oh, not ready yet. That's fine. Uh, we're going to take care of the critter up here. We can also get some components from some of these guys that we let loose. You can find them. Wound calf. Let's first take care of this little critter. isn't ready to interact with what's wrong with it we have to have the mission lit up is that what it is selected room and feed the Thestral offspring okay yeah what we're trying to do game there we go we can feed it Here we go. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. But we could also take care of other things too. Alright. See, these guys will get fed automatically, so all I have to do is come in and take care of them every couple of days. I'm going to put another one of these feeders in the other room. Let's go talk to Deke. This guy hasn't eaten yet. Needs to get over there. Grab some food. Got what we need. We can talk to Deke now. Well, let's run in here and grab some stuff really quick. Let's 
let's put this over here. All right. That'll work. Let's also do like a little box. It's a toy box. They need toys, right? Here we go. Don't know if it actually does anything. We'll just put it in there. We need to put a breeding thing in here. I mean, don't know if actually would work. Oh, I saw it for a second. Oh well, I might just play around with this a little bit later on. Trying to put stuff down and make things look nice. And we need to get that other fooper feather. This guy hasn't eaten yet. Go. Watch you. You're good. You're good. Come back here. Come, no, no. Come back. <laughs> come back. Come back here, you damn thing. Mm. This will allow us to upgrade our uh, gear a little bit, which is nice. Thestral has been born. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it Ooh. swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Oh, Deke what? stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. Mm -mm -mm. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Hmm. Box. <clears throat> Always stuff to collect okay uh where's this other one there it is <clears throat> i'm gonna lay down this one crafty thing lay it down over here i guess <clears throat> Yeah, it doesn't really fit there. 
Maybe by the water? This will work. Yeah, that'll work. We want to put in a breeding thing over here. I don't know if we do or not. Sure, why not? Hi, Wing. Give me feathers, please. Do I only have one Niffler? I might have to go and get a new Niffler. Or another Niffler, I guess. I have nothing I can breed over here except for toads. Don't know if that's really worthwhile. Alright, uh, let's upgrade our gear really quick. I believe this is what we needed for this guy? Yeah, there we go. Fooper feather. Nice. Even beefier than before. Oh, phoenix feathers and unicorn horns. Okay, that's gonna... That'll take something, won't it? The other one we need to find was for... My... What would it have been for? Things. You should the be gloves. proud of all the potions you've brewed. Nope, not for the gloves. A grap horn. So we need to find a grap horn. We need to find a phoenix and a unicorn. Okay. But yeah, at least we're getting those upgraded pretty solidly. All right. What next is on the list? In the shadow of discovery. Let's go to the undercroft. It's a shame the Undercroft isn't on the secret rooms, you know? Um, Undercroft is down here. I don't remember where exactly the Undercroft was. Well, there was a wall that I wanted to try out over by... Uh, I've seen some of the walls and they kind of look a little busted up. And I've wondered if they will allow me to like break through them. It's like, is that a wall that can be broken? Bobada. No. Oh well. I was hoping. I was hoping that was like a wall I could break through. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Load, load, load. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Yeah, 
Rog. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. Yes, you know, I am. there is such a thing as trying too hard. Yeah, well. Bye, Ominous. <clears throat> All right. What we got? You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? <clears throat> Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither mm. the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Oof. Well, I didn't use Crucio. I had it used on me. I mean, at the time we did have to. It was it. hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Ooh, Precisely. All right. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I think we should tell him. He's been helpful. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Well, and don't when be I... sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Uh -oh. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Ah, uh, it gets thicker. I am not letting this go. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? you defending Hogsmeade against trolls. <clears throat> okay. What you got? You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? 
Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. <clears throat> Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio okay. to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I regret using it. Uh, I agree. We did do what we had to to get out, but uh, it wasn't fun. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We should we tell, him. To tell him. <clears throat> He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what exactly. we learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. Uh oh. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when oh, to boy. stop, do you? <clears throat> I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. All right, Ominous. I am not letting this go. What we Ominous, got? Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. What happened to him? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had okay. crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Jeez. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Hmm. Giving him hope. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you <clears throat> understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. Oh, it we know that he will. We know that he will. It's just that how far are we going to help him or support him or do things? To try and help out his Anne, you know. All right then. All right, what's up next? We have the demi guys moons, and we have fire and ice. Meet Poppy Sweeting. We still have some stuff around here to find too, but yep. Uh 
Yeah, buzz the tower. Never a good looking sign, is it? Flying over the forbidden forest. At some point, we're going to have to drop down there and do all the Merlin's trials and different stuff. But I want to get another mission under my belt today. Are we overlooking this castle for a reason? What is up? High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Figured. Does it have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It Indeed. does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? No. What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at mm. the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. Well, I was kind of doing the same area, thing. And I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. That sounds suspicious. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. Right. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea. Exactly. I will crush the life out of them. All right. Where are you headed? Into the, into the dark forest, the forbidden forest. You know, where I'm not supposed to be. A centaur. Tread carefully. Is a centaur. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. By the way, have you seen a unicorn? I need to get one and, you know, steal it and hide it in my room. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. All right. That's the third time. 
time I've seen a dug bog behave that violently. Nice. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Maybe there is something in the water. Jaws. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. All right. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Because they were running. Pelt. Paul, still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Rebellion. Open. Up, oh, up. Oh. And only open it from over here? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna drink their, I'm gonna drink their beer. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Goblin metal. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. I like that everyone I go to school with is How actually like and poacher interests how should alive? we say this like Harry Potter level of let's go out Look, and get them down there definitely poachers no creatures though so what are they doing out here let's take a closer look they won't be happy to see us should we use this or perhaps a less discreet approach hard to say from up here hmm let's get a better lay of the land I was just going to run in and kill them all, but hey, if we want to play a game, that's fine. Nothing to poach in our insurance except spiders. I'm worth the trouble if you ask me. I shan't be having none of your nonsense. Blew me like that again and you'll soon find yourself in now for poachers at your back. Someone messing about. Someone's going to regret. What's this? Oh, All right. Hard. Well, I haven't used this guy yet. Oh, jeez. Yes. Back for more. Oh, crap. Well, we're going to have to repair that. We're going to have to repair that bridge, aren't we? Kick him right off the edge. Knock him right off the edge of the mountain. You'd think they were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Reven Only one way to find out. Uh, repair the bridge. You want to repair this or should I repair this? All right. I guess I'm repairing this. Expelliarmus. Nope. Repair it. That's what we want. Put this stuff up so we can break it again. Revelio. They do have a lot of money, which is kind of nice. Ooh, dragon head. Enter. The poacher's tent. All right, sure thing. What in Merlin's name? Is that a dragon? Dragons. It's a dragon fight club. Nice.
A dragon fight club. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers yeah. were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more. It's kind of a thing. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. All right. Then I what Victor was sinking straight and fast. Oh. There we go. Open door. On our way. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is going to get me precisely... Just don't tell us. Video. Steal all the loot. Petrify all the guys. It's a better not be a trick. Don't worry, it is. Alright. Now we can go up. Just for a second, we're going to watch. Because how often do you get to see a uh, dragon fight club? I don't know. Which one are we betting on? I think we're going to bet on the green one. Yeah! Yeah! Get him! Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah! Bite him in the neck. Okay, moving on. Now, oh, come on, I always tell you, short straw. Did you hear those goblins? Randlock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? He must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. That's a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Well, let's, let's make it fair again. <laughs> oh, this is this is what they refer to as bad ideas. Oh, that's brilliant. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. Revelio. Can't leave it here. Not with the plans they likely have for it. Oh no, we're definitely taking it. Definitely taking the dragon egg. Hello, Amora. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm playing Ark again, stealing dragon eggs, and hoping I don't get killed on the way out. We're gonna need to make a lot of fires. It's gonna be a little warm, guys. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Dude, there's so much stuff over here. All right. Thank you. 
Used because my controls are not working right. What the hell? Stop. My controls aren't working right. Why is it throwing stuff at someone I'm not looking at? Okay, this is. What's going on? I'm gonna die because this thing isn't. There we go. Hit that dude with his own ability. Right, yes, but before we do that, uh, we're going to get the loot. Question is, does it now eat us? Made a dragon friend. This way. We're definitely making some enemies, but did we just make a dragon friend? That's the question. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. Keeping it. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. 
I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Uh, I can hatch the egg in my little vivarium. Should we expect trouble from the poachers? Oh yes, Given the trouble definitely. we just caused? Yeah. It would be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. That's okay, that's fine. Keep it. Since the dragon we freed flew off, Give it to does Hagrid. that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. All right, we aren't let's helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Let's bail out. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Agreed. Ah. Oh. Poor thing, she's gonna walk all the way back and we're just gonna hit M. <laughs> and we're gonna just shoot right back to the rumor requirement. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end today. We have uh, rescued a dragon egg. We rescued a dragon. We defeated and wiped out a whole it's bunch of sorcerers. Spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. All right, then. We're going to be learning another spell next time. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.